Hello, my name is Fran Andrew Levich. I'm the brewmaster here at Bruzy Boca Raton. Today we're brewing a batch of the City Fest Amber Lager. And if you stay tuned for just a little bit here, we're going to go through all the steps in producing a quality craft lager. Hi, my name is Fran Andrew Levich. I'm the brewmaster here at Bruzy in Boca Raton. So we're here at the microbrewery, and today we're going to explain the process of making beer. These four ingredients will turn into this. We're going to start out by explaining some of the ingredients in beer. There are four ingredients in making fermented barley. Now, the first ingredient is the malted barley, and it comes in all different types of colors, and it's actually kilned at different temperatures to make the darker colors. For your darker beers, you use darker barleys. For your lighter beers, lighter barleys. We use roughly 800 pounds per batch, and that makes us 30 kegs every time we do it. Second ingredient are hops, and these are hop pellets and they're grown mostly in the Northwest, and they provide the bitterness, the flavor, and some of the aroma for the, the beverage itself. The third ingredient is water, and if you're familiar with uh, South Florida water, it's not the best in the world, so we take it through a deionizer, and we strip the water all the way down, and we add our own calcium, magnesium, sulfur, or whatever style of beer we're trying to make here. Fourth ingredient is the yeast, and it's in all the tanks right now. We don't actually have a visual, and it's a microorganism that produces the alcohol and the CO2 in a beer. First step of the process is splitting the malted barley and the 800 pounds, like I said, to make the 30 kegs. It goes into what's called a lotter ton. And what happens in the lotter ton is we warm it up with warm water, about 150 degrees, and that turns the starch, converts it into sugar. And that's what we're trying to do. It looks like a big vat of oatmeal as we start the process. Inside the lotter ton, there's a set of screens, and they separate the barley kernels themselves from the sugar extract, which is called wort, the barley extract. And that's what we're trying to do in the lotter ton here. So this is where the hops are actually added, and they give the bitterness, some flavor, and some aroma to the beer itself. So we add them right in here. We use uh, between 5 and 15 pounds of hops per batch. The more hops you add, the more bitter, the more flavorful your beer tends to be. Today's batch, we're adding 7 pounds. You see that boil really get going after we add the hops to it? It's really getting into gear here. Yeah, we've just got done boiling for an hour and a half. The beer is purified. We've got the hops added to it. And now we need to add our last ingredient, which is the yeast, which is a microorganism, very temperature sensitive. If we add the yeast into the boil right now, the yeast cells will die and no fermentation will take place. We use a piece of equipment called the heat exchanger, and that's got stainless steel plates in it, and the hot wort, which it's called the barley extract, flows through one side of the plate, and we counterflow cold water on the other side. So it's an exchange of heat. It'll take it from 212 degrees down to 50 degrees, which is a, a suitable uh, pitching temperature for the yeast cell itself. And that's where it all, the fermentation starts. Okay, we're back here at Bruzy. It's Fran again, Brewmaster Bruzy. And we've just cooled down the wort, the barley extract with the hops in it. And we've got it down to 50 degrees and we're coming into one of our fermenters here. And these hold, again, 30 kegs per batch, of the usual keg you're used to sand. And the yeast right now is getting ready to start eating the sugar from the malted barley and produce the CO2 and the alcohol and put it in the beer. At this point now, there's no alcohol in here just yet, and the yeast is just starting to do its business right now. Okay, four weeks pass now, and we're getting ready to go into the filter. And what the filter does is it removes any yeast or sediment that made it through the whole brew process as it sat in the fermenter. These filter pads, as you see, are 26 plates, they're stainless steel, about 3 microns, and they'll remove uh, yeast cells down to, to that size itself. Uh, the tighter the pad, the more clear the beer, the clearer the beer is going to be. This is strictly for aesthetics. We want the beer to be crystal clear. It goes through here. Uh, it takes about an hour to go through it. We sterilize it first, obviously. And then from here, we go into the serving tanks, which actually house the beer. We're in the uh, cellar now, and this, these are the actual holding tanks. After the beer is filtered and it's cleared aesthetically, we go into a, a holding tank or serving tank, and these house the beer that's going to be dispensed at the restaurant itself. Holding 30 kegs again. From here, these are all cooled, double insulated. They go from here, a cooling line that goes up underneath the bar and up to the taps themselves. So when the beer starts, when we actually start the process at the very beginning with the split malted barley, the first time that a guest or a customer has it here at the restaurant, is in their glass it comes out of here there's no kegging or bottling or canning so it's the freshest product that we can give them and that's the main reason we do what we do here at Bruzy.